Okay, here is their forecast for Taurus. So we have a mutually consent to have sex with each other. This could also be a mutually consent, meaning an agreement between the pillars, which is also some organization or bosses or even family or even father-in-laws, mothers-in-laws. You need to mutually consent and have be cooperative. We also have some kind of deception. Scarlet letter woman, adulterous martyr. That woman in your life are somehow martyring themselves for you or they are martyring themselves for someone else. But we definitely have a woman who's sacrificing herself um, to cooperate with you. And then you are pretty much like a narcissistic abuser. It's like the love bombing, the, what is it? The love bombing, the devaluing stage, and then the discard stage. Phase. So this woman, someone Taurus is using a woman, or this could be the other way, is connecting and trying to bring in a woman and that close to you to get on your side and also using her as some kind of sacrifice or martyrdom and then discarding her. And then discarding her, you know, something that is very close to home. We see that the dice right there on the bottom is kind of faded off, which means it's something that someone is bringing into your life for a temporary position, for a temporary spot, and then discarding it, you know. And uh, thankfully, it is not too personal, so they will be able to heal. See, this is bad karma when you do this to someone. But thankfully, it will be able to be something that can be healed and... Um, or you are doing it simply for your own self-healing, to, to comfort yourself in this way. And that's why you are using this woman in this way. Worthy of love. And that's, you know, this is like, these women are like, oh, this is my time. This is what I get to do. This is my worthiness. As I have deserved something like this. Having no clue that you plan on doing something like this to them. But then again, you could also, on the other hand, keep them, keep them in your midst gain favor of all, place of worship, thankful. She at the same time is thankful for having this experience because it wasn't too hurtful to her because you didn't get too personal about it. And she might have met some people within the process, parental influence. So there is some type of parental um, connection with this meeting as well and with whatever you're doing here. And perhaps a little food for fun, you know. And also, um, there's all in a big way extravagance leads to the downfall. So you are doing something here that is being done in a big way, but because you are so excited about it and doing, making such a big deal about it, there is, it's leading to an over exuberance and an over, um, achievement can also lead to a downfall by trying to be an overachiever. By having all these indecisions on who you should work with and how you should deal with it. And it also creates a whole, it opens up a whole nother channel of influences coming in. And this, and opening up your channel to these new people also influences new people that you cannot trust. That you would try to over appease in some way that could possibly, you shouldn't be doing that. You should be holding back a bit, you know, and plan on letting them go by the end of this. So they are not true loyalty. You do not want to make them true followers at this point. Yes, we do not want to make them true followers at this point. Yeah, if we have it still going on. The six is, this is something close to home. To fathom and understand the idea, to fully comprehend, to be given wisdom. You are the bell of the ball. These people have helped you learn something new that someone else in the past did not. These people are, okay, we are mutually consenting to you being this um, person for him or her. Or this is you, you are mutually consenting to being some type of martyr for them. And to let this go when it is over with. To, okay, to be a partnership in something in the meantime. And then to know when it is over and to let it go and to shed the skin of whatever this is. So it's not, it's not an attach, it's an attachment, it's a, it's an acquaintance, it's not an attachment, it's a, it's a, it's a small attachment. It's a temporary attachment, a temporary acquaintance, and that's something that is going to be in your life for a long time. So be thankful for this seven of hearts, the way that they are helping you achieve something at this moment. And then um, 
be an elder influence, a mature influence over them, and they are also being a mature influence over you. Five of Hearts, it is growing in this way, and you are mutually consenting to this. You can, you know, you can see the tension between you, whether that be good or bad, but also do not let them to be too close to you because extravagance can lead to a downfall, and the loyalty and fidelity of this moment is not something that will last. But in doing all this with these new people in your life, with these new women in your life, you will also have some kind of moment of presentation, a moment of presence, a moment of attention, where you will be able to fully understand something that you did not before because you were including people that did not really have any teaching aspect or any real influence over yourself that they really did not know. And if you didn't know, they really didn't have any goodness good good traits to know about we have the three which is a triangle which is a servant and boss type relationship and the five where this could possibly grow you think oh i want to keep them in my life but do not remind them that you're the boss and they are the worker there okay that they are not someone you want to grow to attach to and that you're not someone you want to bring home to your family you know that these are just temporary people in your life okay that's taurus